Is your company struggling to generate leads online from its digital marketing efforts? If so, rest assured, you are not alone. As an independent digital marketing strategist, I regularly talk to both business owners and marketing directors who, while they work for a well-established company that offers a great service to its clients, still somehow they struggle to consistently gain traction from their online marketing efforts. In today's video, I'm going to help you out by breaking down the five ways you can supercharge the lead generation effectiveness of your company's website and start seeing an immediate improvement in its marketing effectiveness. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. How's it going? If you're new here, my name is Bailey Canning. I am an independent marketing strategist working with service-based businesses to help them increase their online authority, generate more leads, and ultimately close more sales so they can increase revenue and achieve any goals they have for their company. If you're interested in branding, web design, digital marketing, etc., definitely subscribe to my channel because I'm putting out at least one video every week covering the topics I just mentioned. Hit the subscribe button, and without further ado, let's just get right into it. The goal of today's video is for me to give you insights and action steps you can actually take to improve the lead generation effectiveness of your website. Some of the things we'll be talking about here are very technical, but I really try to angle things in a way that whether you're a marketing director or a business owner and you're really not a web designer per se, still these things are going to be actionable items that you can implement on your website right away and start seeing an immediate return on investment. All right, so the first thing we got to talk about today is conversion rate optimization or CRO as it's called for short in the business. Basically, Basically, what this means is that there are steps you can take to optimize your website so that people take the desired action you want them to take, whether that is filling out a form to schedule an initial consultation, which might be a primary lead generation objective for your company, or a secondary objective such as filling out an email newsletter form so that you can then follow up with them via email marketing, which we will also be talking about very shortly here in today's video. Now, CRO is very technical, and really you would want to hire a web designer or marketing consultant to be able to optimize your website in accordance with you know, basic best practices when it comes to conversion rate optimization. So I still want to give you some actionable things you can optimize your website for in regards to CRO so that you can start to see a bit of an uptick already from the amount of leads generated from your website. One of the biggest problems I see with business websites is that they load painfully slow. This can especially be true if your website is built on an old WordPress theme, which are notoriously bloated. So one way you can actually see how fast your website is, rather just for pure browsing experience, would be to use a tool called GT Metrics, where basically you can just plug in the URL of your website and it will give you a grade based on how fast a website loads. And from there, we'll also give you actionable items you can see in terms of what is slowing down the website and it will give you an action item list of things to optimize the website for. When it comes to site speed, you really want to shoot for three to four seconds max. There's a lot of studies out there showing that basically for every additional second a website takes to load, the amount of users drops off dramatically. And that is going to affect the performance of your website in so many ways, not just offering people a better user experience, but also it's going to be very helpful for SEO, which is going to lead to more traffic. And it's also going to help a lot if you're doing a lot of digital advertising on platforms like Meta or Google, because ultimately the faster the page loads from the ad, the less likely people are to click away in the meantime. Next thing I want to talk about is copywriting. This is another thing I wanted to mention because again, you might not have the most technical skills as a marketer or as an entrepreneur because your focus is in other areas, understandably. However, that doesn't mean you still can't edit the copy of your website. And especially now in the age of ChatGPT we live in, it's never been easier to get feedback on the copy and revise it and improve it. You really don't need to be a professional copywriter anymore to have good copy on your website. I'm not going to say that ChatGPT can replace top tier copywriters. I don't think it's in that category yet. However, certainly you can get 80% of the way there with ChatGPT as of this time I'm recording this video. Why I bring up copy is because ultimately pretty websites and attractive looking websites will give your company a chance to get its foot in the door, but ultimately it is the copy of the website that are directly responsible for generating conversions. And ultimately it is those conversions leads that are going to turn into sales for your company. So that's why it's super important to ensure that the copy of your website is extremely dialed in. It's talking about your prospective clients, pain points, the problems they might be suffering, and it's painting a picture of how your company is the right company to be able to actually help them overcome those problems and achieve any sort of outcome that they are in the market for. You want to have copy on your website that is clear, straight to the point, compelling, 
tells a narrative type story, and finally has really strong, clear CTAs or calls to action that convince users to take the desired actions you want them to take, such as filling out a form and becoming a lead for your business. This is something I'm heavily focused with all my clients whenever we start a new website build. I help them build out specific client avatars so we know who the audience of the website is. And then once we know what their key purchase indicators are, their wants and frustrations, their fears with working with a company like yours, and the questions that they really want answered before they are ready and comfortable to move forward in the sales process. Based on that, we have a really clear guide for writing effective copy. If you wanna learn a little bit more about that, I will post the story brand video I did here, basically walks you through a very quick brand strategy workshop you can use to develop a really awesome copywriting framework for your website. Do not overlook the importance of copy when it comes to website effectiveness. It is literally probably more important than the actual design itself. The last thing I would recommend here, and this is based off my own client experience, instead of having a very boring, plain, basic form like you've seen on a million websites before where it asks name, company information, message, how can we help, etc. One, I think those are just very boring and people just glaze right past them, but there are are a bunch of new tools that have just come out recently that I've been using with my own clients and we've seen a lot of success. The first one is called a video ask and basically it takes the standard you know plain form and turns it into a video step-by-step -step form. It's really cool. If you're not too interested in recording a video I would also recommend a more interactive type form than just the standard forms you're used to seeing on websites. You can use something like type form which is very interactive. Basically type form will provide one form input at a time and it's essentially a multi-step form so it just makes the experience a lot more interactive interactive, a lot more high-end, and really makes people feel like they're going through a premium brand experience. And when it comes to websites these days, that is really something you want to nail down as much as possible. It's not just having a great static design, but really turning this into a multi-modal type experience where people really feel like they're getting an awesome experience by visiting your website. And it's completely different from all the other local competitors in the area. If those all sound too advanced for you, what I would recommend doing then, and this is very simple, is setting up a Calendly account. So if you're unfamiliar, basically Calendly Calendly is an online scheduling tool where you can essentially set your availability and then people can book time on your calendar directly based on the times you provided. When it comes to generating leads and it's more of a sales concept overall, we really want to reduce the amount of friction or amount of effort it takes for people to get in touch with your business and set up that initial consultation. So by integrating an online scheduling tool like Calendly, which I have in my business as well, it's going to make it so much easier for people to book time with you and start that sales conversation. The next major thing I'm going to recommend when it comes to improving the lead generation effectiveness of your website is to develop what is called a lead magnet. And you can essentially think of this as your company's entry point offer in its marketing funnel. Now, the power of the lead magnet, which is going to be a gated downloadable piece of content that for people to access, they need to leave their email address and their name at least. Once they submit their information by filling out a form, they can then access the guide and the guide is meant to be educational, valuable, and informative, which is going to allow you to build trust and expertise and authority with your prospective clients. And this will also allow you to build an email list over time. If you're having trouble generating leads and getting people to take the first step to work with your business, I would recommend taking a step back because there's going to be a lot of prospective clients out there who are not yet ready to move forward with that initial consultation because one, that puts a lot of pressure on them because then they need to prepare for this meeting, show up. They don't want to waste your time. They're very self-conscious about that. So there's really a lot of reasons why people would not want to take that step right away unless they're absolutely certain that they want to move forward. What you can do then is take a step back like I'm advising here and identify people who are interested by getting them to essentially raise their hands with this type of offer by downloading this lead magnet. So I've seen it with my own clients as well. One of my architecture clients, we put together basically a dream home guide walking them through the entire architecture process and all the major phases of the project. We've had that running for probably at least a year or two now. We've gotten hundreds hundreds of downloads. We built an email list of over a thousand people based on this one guide. And if we did not have that lead magnet, I can tell you right off the bat that the lead generation effectiveness of um, our marketing efforts would be significantly decreased if it weren't for that. Okay, real quick, I hope you're enjoying this video and getting a lot of value out of it. If you're interested in picking my brain on your company's current online marketing strategy, definitely feel free to book a strategy call with me. You can do so directly on my calendar with the link in the description of this video. It's a very friendly, chill, casual, no obligation conversation. It's about 30 minutes. Long story short, I will take the time to learn more about your company 
and its marketing and sales goals. And then at, while answering any questions you have, provide you with a roadmap for achieving the marketing and sales goals you're after. So link in the description if you wanna book time with me. And I would strongly recommend you explore ways to build an email list, but by building an email list, you can take a longer term view of the sales cycle. And this is super important, especially for service-based businesses like architecture firms, engineering firms, law firms, accounting firms, interior design firms, etc. because the sales process is very long in those industries, oftentimes because we were just talking about a large sum of money that your prospective client is going to have to invest in your company. And there's also a lot of other things they might need to get done on their end as well before they're going to be able to actually hire you. So because of that, you need to take a long-term view of the sales cycle and not be trying to close a deal in a week, but maybe trying to close a deal in a quarter, essentially. So a three-month time frame. And that's really what's going to help your company stand out. And email marketing, I'm not just pulling this out of thin air. It is the highest return on investment marketing channel out there. It outpaces meta ads, it outpaces Google ads, etc. You can look it up. It is the highest return on investment of any marketing channel. Now there's a ton of different email marketing tools out there. What I would recommend if you're just getting started is a free tool called MailerLite. They have a very robust free plan, which you can get away with for quite a while as you're still figuring out your email marketing strategy. And then if you need to upgrade based on the features you're looking for or the amount of contacts you have on the list, then it's still pretty affordable. If you need something a little bit more featured, I would definitely recommend checking out something like ConvertKit or Active Campaign. Those are two of the most well-featured email marketing softwares in the game at the moment. Every company should be building an email list because then going into what I'm about to talk to you next of content production, your company needs to consistently be producing valuable, educational, informative, and even entertaining content to its prospective clients because this is just what's ultimately necessary to get found online in the first place. And by producing content, I primarily recommend producing either long form video or podcasts as well. And then you can also take those videos and podcasts and add them to your website. And ultimately from that content, your site's gonna start ringing for a lot more SEO keywords. You're gonna start driving a lot more traffic and you're gonna start generating more leads because if we just assume, for example, that your website has a 2% conversion rate, which is pretty low, so for every 100 people that visit, two people fill out a form and convert into a lead. If we're all of a sudden able to 10x that traffic and get to 1,000 people visiting the website, then even assuming you still have that only 2% conversion rate, which if you've been following the advice in this video, it's probably going to increase from that 2% baseline. But regardless, even if it doesn't, then you're going to be getting 20 leads in total for that month versus two if you only have 100 visitors coming every month at the moment. So content is super important for increasing the traffic of your website. And ultimately, it doesn't matter if you have the most beautiful website with the most amazing copy, with the coolest effects and animations going on. Ultimately, if nobody visits your website, it practically doesn't even exist for business purposes. That is why you need to be consistently creating content. I'd recommend at least one long form piece of content per week. And then also this content can then fuel your entire email marketing strategy of being able to consistently send quality content to your list and nurture what we would call those marketing qualified leads, people who are on your email list into sales qualified leads where they're actually booking calls and you're actually qualifying them on the call. The last thing you're going to want to leverage on your website is going to be social proof. And by social proof, primarily testimonials from past successful clients and case studies of how you help them. This is one of the easiest things you can quickly add to your website and start seeing immediate benefits in terms of lead generation because it doesn't take any technical knowledge. All you need to do is reach out to your past clients and get testimonials from them. I would also, again, talking about the video ask tool again, I'd recommend getting video testimonials if you think your clients are going to be cool with that because it's one thing for people to see a written testimony, but it's a whole other thing for people to see an actual video that a past client of yours put together to vouch for the services that your company provides. So video testimonials, Testimonials are terrific for sales. I highly recommend it. And then also case studies. And they don't need to be anything too fancy or too crazy because getting something up, at least initially, is going to be better than taking you know six months to put together these very detailed case studies. And then in those six months, you weren't generating any leads. So I would definitely recommend getting some sort of case study up. It depends on your business, obviously, what this is going to look like. But case studies are going to be huge for actually showcasing how your company has helped its past clients. So this way, as prospective clients are looking through your website and they're reading these case studies and they're able to see how you've actually helped prospective clients who were experiencing similar issues to what these prospective clients are now experiencing, that are going to be 100% sold that your company is the right company for the job. Yeah, I really can't stress this enough. As human beings, we are social creatures. We always look to you know the group for validation and social proof 
testimonials, case studies are going to be some of the best ways you can leverage this on your website. You can then also use this content for social media. You could then also distribute it out to the email list. A bunch of repurposing opportunities with the social proof items I just talked about. All right, so that is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a lot of valuable insights out of it. And I hope you have a to-do list ready of action items from everything I talked about and you're ready to start implementing this on your website today. Now, like I said, I am an independent marketing strategist helping my clients with branding, web design and development, and digital marketing around the topics I discussed today. So if you are looking for help revamping your company's online marketing strategy, definitely feel free to book a free strategy call. Link in the description. I will take the time to learn more about your business and provide you with an action-oriented game plan to achieve the marketing and sales goals you're after. If you're interested, link in the description. It's a very casual, very friendly 30-minute conversation. You'll get a ton of value either way, whether you want to move forward or not. Link in the description. I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.